Welcome to Roseville Mustang Parts. What you're looking at is my high school car from 1977. It was a 67 Mustang, 289 three speed, C code, two barrel. I had it painted by Caracoa on Howe Avenue in Sacramento, California in 1977. Did all the bodywork myself. That little uh, horse and corral that you saw, we got from a junkyard in Rio Linda. Later on, I put GT stripes on the side. I thought it would look good with the blue. Um, and uh, it has the kidney bean appliance slot mags. So the next picture you're gonna see is when I bought it back from my best friend from high school in 2005. They had stored it in the backyard. The last time they drove it was 1987, which is what the tag said. The current owner, which was my best friend's brother, went to Germany and they parked it so obviously he couldn't drive it and it sat in their backyard for like 17 years or whatever the hood uh, was growing weeds and it was rusted so i sold it for like 10 bucks the trunk lid looked about the same way it had weeds growing from every crack it was full of uh rat turds a lot of moisture all the chrome inside had gotten pitted because of the moisture it was sealed up but Little mouses got in there and pooped and stuff. Now you can see it at AutoNation Dodge, which actually was Auto West Dodge back in the day in uh, 05 when I dragged it over there. Had a Actually had a tow truck pulled over there. It had mini light mags on it, which was my best friend's favorite wheels. I didn't like them, but um, it was a cool looking car back in the day, uh, both when I had it and when he had it. You can see the pop top gas cap in the back. It's still there on my car today. You might see a picture of it. Um, just sitting there looking pathetic with uh, black widows falling off of it. That was a 1985 Mustang that I bought that ran and drove out of Wheatland, California, but it had a bent frame, so it wasn't worth saving, but it had a great running gear in it. And that's the running gear that's in my car now. That's finest uh, mechanic buddy of mine at Auto West. He dropped the motor in along with a guy named David. There's the convertible sitting in the back parking lot of Auto West slash Auto Nation Dodge. Had a mangled top. I guess I went through a fence or something into a into a a ditch. There's the uh, 67 up in the air getting prepped to get pulled uh, apart basically. I purchased everything it needed to basically make it run and drive. It took the 289 three speed out. I sold that. Dropped a 5 liter in it with the 5 speed, T5 5 speed. There it is with brand new tires on it, on the old rims, ready to drive. There's the 5.0 with the ugly looking cane and uh, air filter. We put MSD ignition on a Duraspark 2 distributor with uh, that was in the back parking lot at Auto West, Auto Nation Dodge. Got several pictures of it. Here it is in the body shop getting aircraft strip. It had several paint jobs on it, and the body and paint guy said it had too many paint jobs on it to paint over. Plus, you wouldn't want to paint on top of a old car paint job because you're just going to put a nice paint job on then The thinners are going to attack the lower paints on it. Little car's been through a lot, but it's all worth it. It was my very first car out of about 40 or 50 cars that I've owned in my life. This was number one. I still have it to this day. It's got the Cougar taillights on it that are the same as the Shelby taillights in 1967. I was going to make this into a California Special, but then I found out that California Specials are 68 only. There was no 67 California Specials. So I decided to go with a different uh, theme. I decided to make it into a GT350. And you believe it or not, a lot of people even today think it's a real Shelby and it's really not. It's just a Mustang that's been turned into GT running gear with a bunch of Shelby stuff on the outside of it. But it's a pretty car when you meet it in person. There he is trying to fit the, I guess the he's lining up the tape stripes on it or something. I'm not sure what he was doing. There it is with the stripes. It was I was painting it Wimbledon white with Guardsman blue stripes, which is a Shelby color. And then he broke the 
paint thinner in some spots and spot puttied it and he didn't put enough paint on the outside in the white very trans translucent when the thinners dried the car started showing red uh, spot primer in some spots so I had it painted I pulled actually 401k money out through six thousand dollars at Mako in Roseville and had them painted uh, torch red with performance white stripes same as a GT500 in like 08 gets painted there I am at Mel's Diner outside. I thought that was a cool picture. I'm not sure where that's at. That's my 65 Ranchero next to it. That was another car show. I'm not sure which one. That's in front of my house. There's about four of my Mustangs. That's uh, downtown Tuesday nights in Roseville with my Ranchero. Last time my two cars were together. I had to sell the Ranchero, unfortunately. There I'm at... Um, Camaro Generations Car Show in Elk Grove got a trophy for the 67. At a sea of uh, Chevy Camaros, the Mustang got a trophy. Here's my 67 Mustang, the tail end of it. There'll be a video in just a little bit. There's my 67 at Downtown Ford Car Show, I don't know, three, four years ago. Sitting all pretty with a really nice camera shot. There's my uh, LED taillights. I got 500 LED taillights in the back. This is the night I washed it just before the Autorama in 2019. And there it is in the uh, um, Cal Expo Autorama in Building D with the club cars and the Sacramento Mustang Club. Showing off my brand new banner for Roosevelt Mustang on top of the windshield. And here's the video. This video was taken right after I put the motor back together. I had a blown head gasket due to the fact that I used a used motor and the mechanics didn't tell me I had a broken head bolt in the motor and it went tick 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 when I accelerated every time and I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a donut leak, exhaust donut leak. So I was pretty happy to have it back on the road and I got it running just before the Autorama. So yeah, it was exciting to have it actually in another car show. So anyhow, if you like the uh, video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, have a nice evening. Thanks for watching.